Hi, my name is Brandon Wilkers and I'll be your instructor for this video. In this tutorial, you'll be creating and understanding tasks. Creating a task is similar to creating an event. There are only a few minor differences between a calendar event and a task. For a task, you specify a due date, and if it is not complete, it will become overdue until you complete the task. An event will come and go without carrying over. Let's create a new task. A task is assigned to you by default but you could assign a task to another user by using a lookup menu by typing the username then clicking the lookup menu button to open up the search dialog box to verify the user. You could specify a subject or choose from a predetermined list on the right. It is a best practice to specify a due date for the task to avoid procrastination but it is not required. Now specify its level of importance. The user can update the status of a task at will or you could even automate the status of a task by creating a workflow. You could attach the task to a contact, lead, or other record. Use a lookup menu to match a record to the task. We'll attach this task to the lead Dan Schwibble. This is similar to the assigned to lookup menu except you have to choose the object where the record resides. Let's briefly review the rest of the form. Comments allow you to describe the task with more detail. The notification checkbox sends an email to the assigned user after saving. Set a recurring series of tasks daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly with start and end dates for the same occurrence. Here you could specify a time to remind the user about the task before it is due. At the bottom, attach files that help accomplish the task, such as questionnaires, images, or other forms of documentation. Now we could save our task. We can now see our tasks at the bottom of the home page, and when the task is complete, just click on the X in the complete column, update the status of the task to complete, add comments if necessary, and then save. If you have an idea for a tutorial, please leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, and for more information about classes, please visit LiveSalesforceTraining.com.